Favourite memory footy growing up, without a doubt, I played in, the, I think it was under 11 flag uh, with two of my brothers. Well, there's out of Hurstbridge, which is the club I grew up playing for and absolutely love. So we won by about, I think it was about 30 points, which was huge in under 11s. Um, but yeah, undoubtedly the feeling of winning a flag with your brothers and getting your name on a wall of a footy club was pretty special to me. Yeah, uh, my favourite memory as a kid was the Saturday mornings at Auskick. Yeah. Um, it was always pretty cold and pretty wet. But um, out at Eltham College, the ground was as big as the J and perfect every grass every time. Yeah. Well, we used to play scratch matches after, and the score would always be like seven to six or something because <laughs> the ground was always too big. Perfect. So there's been a lot of good memories over the way, but um, for me, probably my debut game. Out wide to Grimes. First game. What a game to debut. Here's... Being able to share that with my family and you know a few close friends was was pretty rewarding because you know I'd wanted to play footy my whole life and yeah to finally sort of get to that moment where I get to pull on a Richmond jumper for the first time having gone through so much to get to that point yeah something I'll remember forever. Uh, Favourite Richmond memory would be Sam Lloyd's goal last year after the siren. From 45 to win the game, he's got it. The Tigers have won by a point. And it was kind of a tough period as well. Like, to beat Sydney but after the siren by a point, yeah that was awesome. We carried on for way too long I think. Yeah. I actually gave you the handball. Yeah, and, and you launched it down, it down the middle. Down the middle. <laughs> right angle bounce. Jack yeah. marked it. Kicked it to Griff. Griff kicked it to Lloydie. And Lloydie kicked it to the fans right behind the uh, goal and pass. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful night for the Tigers. The last five min minutes of every game, there's a pretty intense feeling of if the game's close, it's, you know, you're really working your absolute most to, to ensure that you're winning. So when the siren goes, celebrating that first probably 30 seconds with the blokes you played with is pretty special. Um, but then, yeah, to go out to the crowd and be able to celebrate the win with them. You see the passion, you know, pouring over the fence, you know, when the Richmond theme song's playing. And we've got such faithful fans and, yeah, the passion that they, that they sort of support our footy club with is uh, pretty humbling. That makes you want to play that little bit harder and get that win a little bit more and celebrate that a little bit harder for them. Yeah, after the final siren, it's always good fun celebrating with the fans. With my footy, I always write the score on it, sign it, and then I always look for a young kid to give it to and they're always rapping. They, they kind of fight over it and stuff. Yeah, and then high fives all around the ground um, before being able to celebrate it with the boys a bit more and your family after the game. It's always one of the good memories after a win. Yeah, one game I'm looking forward to this year would be the Dream Timers. Um, with Shadow and Rioli, they look forward to that week the whole year and being able to celebrate it with them they kind of just lift for that week and they always have a smile on their face. So yeah, that's, that's one we definitely look forward to, but um, I grew up supporting Melbourne, so playing against Melbourne like we are this week is probably a big highlight for me as well. Every single player started playing footy because they absolutely oh. fell in love with it. And I think fans are the same. Every fan started coming to footy because they want to see their team play, they want to see their team win, and they want to see um, you know, a good spectacle of football. And, you know, at times you can forget to just enjoy what is a pretty awesome game, a pretty special game we're a part of, because having a bet, I suppose, you only get to really enjoy it with yourself. Yeah, mine yeah. would be just wanting your team to win, to be able to hang it over your mates rather than the odds. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can hang it over your mate for the rest of the year, but one odd, you know, you might get down or whatever. Being able to give someone else a bit of grief about for the rest of 12 months. Is, is, is not too bad either. Yeah.